Hey y'all, it's Robert with Armadillo Outdoor Adventures. I want to thank you for stopping in. Last time we were out in the duck boat, we smoked a fuel pump. Today, we're going to pull the OEM fuel pump out of the Predator 670, and we're going to replace the aftermarket fuel pump with one from O'Reilly's. Come on and see. video we burnt the fuel pump up while we were tuning the carburetor we had we had to replace the fuel pump to get the carburetor tuning finished so in this little video we're going to show what I did to take the original fuel pump out of the 670 and replace the old aftermarket fuel pump with a with a new one from O'Reilly's not a big deal but here we go Start by taking the covers off. Hold on. If you're getting value out of this, do me a favor. Hit subscribe, like, thumbs up, and the notification bell. Let's get back to the video. Last time I was working on it, I just stuck these covers on so nothing to get up in the carburetor. that I put the, everything back together like it's supposed to be. if this pulse pump is right behind here right behind this little piece right here
Pulse Pop. Right here. Three hoses. You got this is your this is coming into the fuel pump from the fuel tank. Well, from the fuel pump from the from the tank or the original the new pump. You'll go from here to here. This is a crankcase vent. This other one that goes up under the crankcase vent goes up under the carburetor. We're gonna pop that dude loose. I had to guess, I'd say that's what drives this pump, is that, crank, that crankcase bit. That's what's making it go. So, here we are. Ah. Loose. And there we have it. We don't have this junk anymore. This is the original junk. Got to figure out what all I need of this. Might put this dude back on for now.
Now we fired it. Well, as you can see, it's better than it was with the throttle response. It's got a little little cough, a little fart whenever you hit the, hit the throttle. Whenever I pull the choke out a little bit, the throttle response gets extremely better. Uh, gets way better. When I pull the choke out just a little bit, the throttle response is is much much better. So. I think it's in the tuning. We might be able to tune some of this out of it. We're fixing to give it a try. I've got it warmed up now, so we're gonna give it a shot. Side, give each side a quarter of a turn. See what we get. I think that's about the best I'm going to get it with the stock carburetor. Uh, we're going to take it out on the water soon, give it a try. We'll see how it goes. Y'all stick with us. 
All right, y'all, when I got the motor, this pump was feeding the fuel. I'm guessing, I'm guessing that the uh, original pulse pump that came on it had already failed and this had been replaced. This is a rotary fuel pump with this one. This is a piston type. Both of these aftermarket fuel pumps came from O'Reilly's. All right, this is how I wired it. This wire is the negative, goes straight to the battery. And the positive runs right up here, goes into the, it goes into the key switch hot. Here, pump. I don't know how long that fuel pump's gonna last. I would suggest keeping an extra one on hand if you're gonna do this. But that's where I'm at. That's the pump I used. Hey y'all, thank you for stopping in. Hope you got something out of this. If you did, hit subscribe. Anyway, as we close, just like always, shake the hand of a veteran, first responder, police officer, fireman, any of those guys. Tell them thanks. Tell them thanks for me. Until next time, I'll see you.